Hello, how you doing? Have you heard the term Olama, but you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I'll quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Olama is a locally deployed AI model runner that lets you download and run large language models on your machine without relying on LLMs hosted in the cloud. Olama is basically an application that runs as a background process on your MacBook or Windows machine. It provides a simple command line interface and API to interact with models such as the Mistral family of models, the Meta models, or Google's Gamma family of models, making it easy for system builders to integrate with a locally deployed and running model. Olama optimizes model performance using quantization, allowing efficient execution on consumer laptops or desktops. It enables offline and private AI usage, ensuring that data remains on your device for security and privacy. System builders can customize models using a feature of Olama called model file. This is basically a text file that defines how the model should be built, customized, and configured. At a high level in the model file, you can specify a base model, default system prompts, LoRa fine tuning, along with other LLM settings. So what are the benefits of defining default system prompts in the model file? Well, this helps guide the model behavior without requiring the user to repeat instructions in the prompt each time. Additionally, in the model file, you can define default LM parameters such as temperature, top P, or top K. Olama doesn't support full fine tuning of models where the model's weights are updated. However, it does offer an adapter based fine tuning method called low rank adaption, or LoRa for short. LoRa is a lightweight fine tuning method that adapts pre trained LLMs to specific tasks without modifying the original model weights. It allows efficient LLM fine tuning, enabling models to specialize in niche areas without full model retraining. LoRa's fine tuning adapters can be swapped in and out, meaning multiple tasks or domains can be supported using the same base model. With your model file, it's easy to share or distribute the model so others can replicate or use your modifications. Okay, you should have a good high level conceptual understanding of Olama. You should understand it's a model runner that enables you to run LLMs on your local system. I hope to do more videos on Olama in the near future, so keep an eye out if these sound interesting to you. Okay, so let me know what you think of Olama. Do you think you might be willing to experiment with running a locally deployed LLM using Olama? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Okay, thanks for watching. This video with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation with the cloud and machine learning, and AI, but don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing, but get out and move your body. And if you do, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear about it. And with that, have a great day. Thanks.